all. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing? It's V Roberts here for Insight to Marketing. Um, I've had some interesting conversations this morning. I did a live stream as well. And I wanted to come on today to speak to you because I think a lot of us need to be aware of how we're spending our marketing budget. A lot of us need to be aware, especially if you're in business, on how you are going to finance activities and also the reason why you're going to be financing certain activities when i started my business i had a very small budget uh, and some of you will know so already i had a, just a very small budget of literally 100 pounds and i spent that on a website and i had a little bit of money left and that was it right and in hindsight knowing now what i do know i wouldn't have actually spent it on a website i would have done different things with my money and probably printed a few leaflets and maybe gone out to one or two events there are many ways in which you can spend money in your business and there are many ways in which you can monetize your brand but there are also some very silly decisions that we make as business owners and i've just given you one of the silly decisions that i made when i started my business and that's why i wanted to be honest with you this morning because i'm aware that there are a lot of you spending money on things that you don't need there are some of you that are spending money, not just on things you don't need, but on things that are not benefiting you. Um, and that includes time as well, right? A lot of us are spending time doing free courses, going to free events, um, attending meetings, and there's not really any real value we're getting from doing those things. And so I had a conversation this morning with two ladies, which then prompted me to do a live stream on one of my platforms. And I thought I would come on here just to speak to those of you who are thinking about the best way to spend your money in 2020. Now, listen, I, I'm not particularly fussed about whether you spend money with me or another person. But what I will say to you is if you've ever doubted, you know, your capacity to make decisions, you might want to watch this video to the end. Because in making decisions when it comes to you managing finances in your business, for your branding and your marketing, especially when it comes to you educating yourself or learning from someone, it's really important that you're learning from people who have done what you want to do, who are more than just, you know, on Instagram showcasing lots of things, likes, comments, etc. It's about you being clear that the person you choose to invest in, whoever that might be, has done what you actually want to do yourself, has actually got the results that you desire, has achieved results for their clients that you desire, who has evidenced that what they're saying they can do, they can do. Because here's the thing, my new hashtag, which I decided this morning is going to be scratch below the surface. When we scratch below the surface of a lot of people in different industries, and we ask questions and we qualify, you know, are they, you know, um, actually capable of teaching me anything are they saying what they've done and proving that they've actually done what they say when we scratch below the surface it can reveal quite a lot okay and some of you will know i spent thousands in my business this year on training some of you have even been on courses with me and i think some of you were even surprised to see me on these courses and i know that the people that i invest my money in are people that have done what i want to do they are people that have evidenced what i am trying to do myself and they're also people that i know are credible um, so in your business, I just want to say to you, and I want to be honest with you, before you make any decisions in 2020 or ahead of 2020, right? Let me just get my other phone because I can see that there's a problem with the service here. Before you make any decisions in 2020 about how you're going to budget your money, about how you're going to spend, about where you're going to attend events, about where you're going to travel, about who you're going to work with, about the courses you're going to go on to, about the workshops you're going to invest in, about the free webinars you're going to jump on, because we know there are lots of free webinars that you guys do. Think about your time and your money, because your time cannot be recalled back. Your time cannot be refunded back. I can guarantee you that when people invest in my business, when it comes to um, you know investing in a course of mine, a masterclass, investing in my planner, by the way, I should say my planners are, planners are going out today. They get value for money because I know as a business owner what I expect from other people because I am a business owner myself. But there are a lot of people who are in business who are basically, um, how can I put this without sounding, um, how can I say this constructively? They are selling what you can find on YouTube. They are selling solutions to you and you are paying lots of money for these solutions and then complaining to me. That's no good because you've already spent the money. And as I said, you can't get back your time you've spent with these individuals and you cannot get back the money 
that you spent with these individuals. And I'm not precious about who spends money with me because actually I'd rather turn people away than just accept anyone work with me, right? So that's the difference between me and some other professionals. But in 2020, I need to be honest with you, more of you need to be aware of how you're spending your time and who you're spending your time with. More of you need to be aware of where you're spending your money and also doing your checks, okay? I'm not someone who brags about money that I make or where I hang out or who's in my network. But what I will tell you is that in seven years, nearly seven years anyway, I've built my business from scratch. Organic reach, genuine connections, real relationships, and being around people that I vibe with. I haven't just said to people, yeah, you know, I work with you. Yeah, come along to my event. And I certainly haven't sold anything that I can't deliver myself. If I can't do something, I will happily direct people to the experts that can. But I want you to be aware of something. And that's why I've entitled this, Can I Be Honest? Be mindful of people that you are investing your money in who actually don't know much about what you're investing in. Okay? Now, I've said transparently, I do a lot of checks before I invest in book coaches, people that are going to help me elevate in terms of digital marketing aspects that I don't even know anything about. I'm very weary of who I spend my money with. And I want you to start being a bit more scrupulous about where you spend your money. You know, in 2019, a few of you have got stung. A few of you have come and complained to me. A few of you have done my courses and then gone on to someone else's courses and said, OK, well, I didn't learn anything that I couldn't have found on your YouTube videos, V. That's something you need to learn from and hopefully not do again in 2020. As I said, this is not about you investing with me. It's just about you being mindful of where you are spending your money. I'm just going to quickly check my other device because... As usual, the gremlins always come onto my lives and I can't see who's watching live with me. So if any of you are saying anything, hi, commenting, etc, etc, I can't see. But do give me a wave and feedback or leave comments or even share your experiences if you have any with regards to your business and what you've done and what you've learned from this year. Um, I am aware that there are, there are people that are in industry who have previously been other things in industry and are now all of a sudden marketing gurus that can make you loads of money. And then when you invest in their events or you invest in their courses, unfortunately, that doesn't ring true because you'll ask them a question. They can't answer it. They're in a room of 12, 15, 30, 40 plus people. They can't answer the questions. Yeah. Be mindful of who you're spending your money with. OK, because in 2020, I think with the rise of social media and all this live video and being able to kind of conversate with people like myself and others live where you can pick their brains live, that's going to be the real the real determination, determining factor of who knows what, who the real experts are out here. And I'm not claiming to be an expert. I'm always learning new things. I'm always wanting to meet new people. In fact, I learned lots of new things at my masterclass that I delivered in Manchester, right? We all can learn something new. But what I will not stand by are people that are pretending to be very knowledgeable in areas that they know nothing about and very knowledgeable in areas where they're charging lots of money and the people that are attending their events are coming back to me complaining. I don't need to name names. I don't want to put anyone on blast. But what I will say to you is, if you're in business in 2020 and you're wanting to grow your business, think about where you spend your money and think about how you spend your time. Think about who you are around. And that includes friends and family. All right. Oh, I can see some comments here. Hey, Lawrence. Hey, Monica. Hey, Patrice. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Nikki. Think about what you're doing in your business. You can go and check out now my YouTube videos. I've literally just uploaded three and there are about 12 of them. Of testimonials from clients, customers, people that are doing my courses and the value they get. I, I, I know my stuff, so I will confidently come out and who doesn't like it, I'm not really going to apologize for that because every one of us should be blowing our own trumpet, especially if you are confident in what you do, you should be telling people what you do well. And one of the things that I know that I do well is build brands from scratch, develop brands, right? Work on marketing campaigns and get people organized and clear on the best way that they can spend limited money and budget or uh, and time or lots of money and time. If you've got lots of money and time on your hands, we can talk. If you've got a really small budget and time on your hands, we can still talk because you already know that I know my stuff. I've been doing this for 23 plus years and I haven't just, you know, transformed from being a, 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 a something else into what I'm doing now. This is what I've lived and breathed and done for the last 23 plus years. So when I say to you that I know about branding and marketing and that I've grown businesses, I'm talking about I've worked with companies like BT 
and affected their bottom line and their profits. I've transformed a campaign that's targeted six weeks of traffic going into town centres with 10,000 plus people going into that town centre. And I've got evidence for that. I've got evidence for everything that I talk about. So, you know, anything from selling books right through to selling courses, events, I've done it and I've got the evidence to prove it. And I'm not talking about small business evidence because obviously I've done that as well. I'm talking about big companies, big charities that many of you know I've worked for. Go and check out my LinkedIn. You can, you can qualify what I'm saying. Yeah. More of us need to be mindful of where we're spending our money in our businesses, especially if you're watching this and you don't have a big budget. Why would you spend thousands of pounds with someone that you haven't even vetted? Why would you spend thousands of pounds with someone just because they've got a huge following on Instagram? That makes no sense to me, right? And this is what two ladies that I've spoken to this morning have done. And they've, they've openly come to me and mentioned this to me. I have not interrogated them or picked their brains because it's not my business. As long as I know within my brand and my business that what I'm doing is benefiting people that invest in me, is benefiting people that do coaching with me, is helping to transform individuals in their personal life and their business, that's all that matters to me. But as a word of caution, for any of you who are thinking about how to grow your business, what courses to you know invest in, who to seek advice from, do your checks. Yeah, do your checks because it's very easy for anyone to say, oh, I, you know, I've done a sold out event. If they haven't sold tickets and they've just given out loads of free tickets to their event. Yeah, that looks on the outside like a sold out event, but. Nobody bought tickets. Every ticket that you gave away was free. Yeah. And then if you actually drill deeper, I have a testimonials for the events. Some of them are not actually qualified. And, you know, I don't want to um, uh, criticize anyone's way of working, style of working, because I think actually if you go to an event and it's free and you get lots of value, great. Yeah. But then if you then invest lots of money in someone who's doing free events on the basis that they've got sold out events and then you invest that money and you don't get back any um real value or you complain that you know this individual didn't tell me anything i didn't know already this individual didn't tell me anything new this individual didn't even answer my questions that's a problem for me because i'm in the industry and quite frankly because i know my stuff I don't like the fact that there are people that are spending lots of money with individuals that they believe can help them to build campaigns, that they believe can help them on the spot to answer questions that they've got, right? So let me be honest with you. In 2020, make conscious decisions. Be smarter with how you're spending your money if you don't have a big budget. Think about who you're leaning on for expertise. Qualify who you're asking for information from, yeah? Yeah. Because I'm not saying you need to have a degree. I've got a degree. I've got postgraduate diploma. I've got my social proof. I've got over 300 testimonials. I'm not saying someone needs to have that to advise you. I'm not saying that. Let me be very clear. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is, if you're going to spend money on someone for your business to grow, or for visibility, or for you know making sales in your business, depending on the industry you're in as well. That's something you need to be aware of. Don't just go to anyone. If you've got a hair salon, go to someone that's actually helped to transform hair salons. If you're gonna if you're gonna be doing coaching, go to someone that's actually helped coaches to generate money. If you've got an online shop or a physical store, go to someone who's got evidence of that stuff. Why would you go to someone if you haven't got a big budget to get help for your business? If you don't even know if they've actually got those results with someone else, can you just give me a number one in the comments box? If what I'm making, saying is making sense, please just give me a number one. Because for me, when I started my business on £100, I didn't have access to the experts, affordable experts. But believe me, now, even having a big budget, I'm still very mindful of where I spend my money. I'm still very conscious of who I spend my money on and where I go, where I show up, who I am around. So I really just want to be honest with any of you. And please do share this if you feel it might help someone. Be mindful of where you spend your money. Yeah. Be really cautious of who you spend your money with. Because if you're looking for something new, if you're wanting to learn from someone who has actually done what you've done, sold out events where people have paid to attend, retreats where people have actually paid to attend, sold out. Yeah. Sold courses, sold out. 
done group coaching programs, sold out. Yeah. You need to make sure you're investing in the right people for your business. Because if you're not investing in people who have done what you want to do, you could be wasting money. Hi, Caroline. How are you doing? Hi, Jenny. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Tacomba. How are you doing? I'm just talking about the importance. Let me know just via an emoji or something. Have you ever spent money in your business and actually felt like, gosh, that was a waste? That was a complete waste. I'm talking about an event, a book you might have bought, a coaching program you might have bought. Have you ever thought, wow, that was an absolute waste? And if you have ever done that, have you ever questioned yourself as to why or how you managed to waste that money? Did you even do the checks before you spent the money? Did you read the back of that book cover? Did you look at that person's bio? Did you check their results? Did you look at their customer testimonials? Were those customer testimonials relevant to where you're trying to go? Because a coach that's coaching you in terms of branding and marketing needs to have testimonials that actually translate into someone saying that that coach helped them to brand and market their business. That that coach helped them to actually promote their business and generate income. That that coach helped them to actually show up visibly without the overwhelm and give them complete clarity. Yeah? I want to be honest with you. In 2020, I already know that the people that are working with me in terms of my level up, come on. They are going to be seeing real transformation. I don't take just anyone's money. Okay? Yeah? Yeah? I don't take just anyone's money. I am ne I am literally now able to, and I, I am so grateful and humbled for this. I'm able to choose who I work with. But there are some very greedy people within the industry that will say they can do things that they really can't do. Yeah? And all I'm going to say to you is my hashtag for 2020 is scratch below that surface. Yeah? Scratch below the surface because all that glitters is not gold. Yeah, I've been doing this for 23 plus years so I can talk about what I do. I can demonstrate what I've done. I can show you case studies. I've got people that employed me from BT, from NHS, from different charities that I work with that can tell you what I've done for them. That can show you where I brought in more money for their business, where I diverted traffic, where I improved their social media. Big companies. Yeah. I need to be honest with you. Too many of you are wasting money in your business. You're doing everything you see out there. Every time there's a sponsored ad, you're jumping onto it. Every time you see someone with 300 likes on their post, you want to invest your money with them. Likes are not paying certain people's bills. Do not be fooled, okay? I'm just going to say to you, be mindful. I'm going to read through some of the comments. And if any of you have any questions for me, as you know, you can always fire questions at me live because I'll answer. Based on my 23 plus years of expertise, I'll answer you. I don't need to go and Google anything and I definitely don't need to get back to you or look at any notes. Yeah, you know that from 2013 till now, I'm about this life. Okay. Um, all right. So <laughs> Caroline says, yes, yes, yes. Sharon says, yes, with someone I know with my book. Oh my gosh. Hey, Carol. Hi, Fee. Good afternoon. So um, someone says we were being charged thousands of money and had to f fight tooth and nail to get our money back as what they promised they didn't deliver. Exactly. And I know, you know, if you've worked with me, I never say that I do something or that I can do something. If I can't do it, why would I do that? That's going to be look, make me look stupid. And the thing is, people talk. People talk. And the sad thing is, people talk to me. This is why I'm doing this video. It's not to be arrogant or aggressive or come across like I know it all. Because as I said, I'm going to say it again. I'm still learning. I'm still investing. I've spent thousands this year investing in some serious coaches. And if you've seen me at the events, you know. I've spent my money investing. But I'm telling you what I told myself. I'm not investing money in people that I haven't done my checks on. Yeah? And I think a lot of you know intuitively that... You've got some doubts about individuals you're spending money with, but you still spend the money because you genuinely think that person can help you. Yeah? Let me just share something with you. You see this planner? This planner, I brought it along to Manchester with me this weekend, and I had four people tell me on the spot they need the planner because what's inside it is going to help them immediately. Yeah? And I haven't even started my campaign yet with my planner, but let me tell you something. 
I produce solutions for things I know people need. I don't try and pretty anything up or make out like I'm a Facebook ads expert or make out like I can, you know, make you six figures. I don't do all of that. I do what I know I can do. But you need to be mindful of the people that you're investing in because some of them are selling you dreams. And when you rock up to their events, when you rock up to their workshops, you're not getting what you paid for. And it's a shame because at the end of the day, some people need to stick to what they're very good at and others need to just be transparent and say, actually, I don't know the answer to this. Go and speak to someone who does. Yeah. Be mindful. I'm being honest. Be mindful. Yeah. Someone said they put us on the spot so we could buy in. Well, exactly. And that's what's happening. A lot of you are being impulse buying, thinking on the spot and buying. Never buy when you're emotional. Never buy when you're really sad. And that includes impulse buying and shopping. Never, ever buy when you are, you know, feeling emotive. Someone's like, oh, buy it now, buy it now. Don't do that because that's when you have regrets. How many of you can relate to that? How many of you have bought that coat, shoes or handbag that you bought on impulse and then you got home, you were like, why did I buy it? Or it's furthermore, it's still in your wardrobe now. How many of you have done that? You have to think smarter. If you want to make money in your business in 2020, you're going to need to be working smarter, thinking smarter and moving smarter. And that means looking, dissecting who you're investing your money with. And I'm not making any apologies here because I know when you invest in my business, I'm giving you the value straight up and down. Yeah, because I've been doing this for 23 plus years. I wasn't a baker then transformed into doing this. I didn't learn it on the job. I studied for it. I paid to study some more for it. I'm still paying for it now. And I've also got the clients that can evidence what I've done for them. Yeah. Before I started my own business and even today. Yeah. So I called this one, Can I Be Honest? Because I think a lot of people are selling lies. I'm not going to put anyone on blast because you know that'd be very unprofessional of me. But you, you know in your heart, you see what's out there. If you're not sure... And I'm not talking about investing with me now. I'm talking about anyone. And with me, you know, you can check LinkedIn, my website, my Facebook, my Twitter. Check anywhere. Just search the hashtag Ask I2M. Yeah. Because I've got over 320 testimonials now where people are talking about transformation, revenue generated, changing their personal life, business growth. And that's what I'm about. Yeah. But do your checks. Before you spend money with anyone, please do your checks. Can someone just put in the comments box for me, please? Do your checks. Yeah? Do your checks. So important. Because I, I, a lot of people are coming to me saying, oh, V, this person sold me this and, you know, you've done it this way or I got this value from you from this 20-minute segment and I've been, you know, here all day and I didn't hear anyone else do what you did in 20 minutes or I've done this course and I spent six grand on a course and I didn't get what I got from you in six weeks. I mean, come on. If you do your checks, does this happen? No, it doesn't. So do your checks. That's my advice to you. Do your checks. Scratch below that surface. And what you'll find is that when you start asking questions from these experts, me included, if they're good at what they do and they know their stuff, they can evidence anything you ask them for. And where they can't, maybe you should think before investing. All right. Have a phenomenal Monday. If you haven't yet got the uh, brand and marketing planner, here it is. £19 on the ring bound and on the uh, hardback, £24. So, yes, do your checks. Beep up, do your checks. I'm in Derby this Thursday, Birmingham Sunday. Manchester was a blast. Check out all of the feedback on my YouTube channel. And remember, my hashtag is AskI2M. Take care, guys. Bye.